Jesus man. Yes, I am a Jesus man. In Jesus name. So I've had people say, well, Brother Terrell, I don't get much when I go to church. Well, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why he told me you don't get much. You don't take much to church. You take a backslidden heart. You take a carnal mind. You take a criticizing spirit. You take a lazy spirit. You take an eating spirit. You take a no prayer spirit. You take a, a spirit of no fasting. If you want to get some out of church, take some to church. Take a prayer. Take a prayer in your heart. Pray about two or three hours before you go to church and pray that your preacher will be anointed to feed you and read your Bible. Put 10 or 15, 20 hours a week in the Bible and another 20 hours a week in prayer, you go to church, you'll be on fire, your preacher will be on fire, and your members will be on fire, and you'll say, church, I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of God. Hallelujah. God said, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some hands. And when you go to church, you go and apologize to your pastor tomorrow. Tell him, forgive you. And then ask God to forgive you. And then tell him, I'm going to be in church. Just tell me. When. You know, somebody's been out of church long. You don't even know what time church is. <laughs> ask him what time services is. And get in church. We got to have church. We need to worship. Somebody's going to quote a little bit of Bible. I went to church two years one time, and the only thing I got out of church is what I carried to church. The preacher didn't give me nothing, but I was at church. I didn't have no other choice but go to an old dead church. But you know what i done? I prayed for them old two dead pastors, and both of them pastors later testified how that my prayers saved them. One of them said, I was a hypocrite, and this man prayed for me, and he got up and rebuked. I got up one time and rebuked him. I got up in church. I said, man, you're not preaching nothing. I said, we need something. You're just sitting there telling jokes. We don't want to hear jokes. Give us the word. Give us something to live on. Give us some prayer. Give us something to stir. He come to one of my tent meetings and told how that, that called him to go home and get saved and get the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So here I was, for to be helping, preaching this man, he jumped up and preached to me. And the other one, the other pastor done the same thing. We don't have to put up with this stuff. My God, we need to stand up. If we ain't getting fed, say, let feed me. Why y'all do it at the table? Mama, this old garbage ain't no good. We don't want this goulash. Man, you eat goulash every day for 10 years, you want something else. Somebody's watch good law, goulash. It's all your leftovers piled in one bowl and made soup out of or something. We don't want leftovers piled in one dish, mixed up and called goulash. And that's all the preachers are giving folks is a bunch of goulash. Man, I want a piece of meat. I want a piece of steak. I want some fish. I want some cornbread. I want some collard greens. I want some cabbage. I want some peas. Hallelujah. I want some, I want some butter beans. I want some pinto. Hallelujah. I want a good glass of iced tea. I'm tired of this old junk that the preachers are giving. I want something to eat. I'm hungry. I want to be fed. 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 Hallelujah. Well, the way I feel since the Lord saved me, worse than ever, and never a tale. I'm fully holy, talking the soul of Jesus, I shall dwell. In the living in me, I should plainly concede, that's the reason I